Hey there everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Civ 6. We're about to continue this series, we're using the mods of course as always to basically make us OP and all of that. I'm gonna sw uh, change the turn already because we don't have anything to do, I always make sure that we can go into the next turn right away. Catastrophic eruption, well that's how you do it, I guess, that's how you start a video. We got the two volcanoes, well... One of the uh, two volcanoes going out, and that's on Laventa. That's right where Laventa no is. So. We got sanitation, so natural history. history. There we go. Our scout. We're going to continue to move him out. I actually want to move him out on the east right here because I want to uncover the east side of things. Uh, my ship, my frigate, I guess I can just send him over there, scout the rest right normally where Canada would be. Uh, we're gonna get we'll go for a crossbowman now just so we have um, better units uh, nationalism I guess choose a production over war cap now we can do that of uh, sewers so we can purchase sewers and workshops so I'm gonna wait on that uh, I want to see I want to do a, a quickly a test and stuff so I am going to do sewers just because I just want to see, uh, test some things out really quick. Uh, if my, some things uh, work or not. I'm going to go for industrial zone right here because we're definitely going to need it. Uh, do we have anything whatsoever that could be good? Uh, if I do anything here though, it would pr uh, give us a lot of uh, chance of having the volcano going up, which I don't want. What about an arbor? Yeah, an arbor would be pretty great. Let's just put an arbor right here. Or what about him? Yeah, he doesn't have anything to do right now. All right then. And you either. So send an envoy. And we have so many envoys. That's the only like city states we've uncovered so far. It's just crazy. Let's see real quick. Uh, plus four combat. Yeah, I don't think I don't see really anything interesting. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, we're fine as, as it is for the reduction of everything and, and all. So yeah, I think we're good, boys. We can't really do anything with our builders, so let's just skip a turn again. Our builder is basically going to be sleeping right now. We got uh, ballistics and nationalism, which means we can have pro crossbowmen now. I am going to, there we go, continue to go on my search right here with the scout. Right here, let's see what we got. All right, pretty much nothing. I think we have the, at least for the East Coast, we got big time, like, free place for us. Like, we can do whatever we want, uh, really. So, it does work. Oh, okay, good. This mod does work, boys. That's perfect. Which means we can build stuff, like, in one turn. You know what that means? Uh, let's go for the workshop right here, then. And go for the sewers. Uh, yeah, sewers right here, then. I mean, if everything gets built up in one turn, that's going to be fantastic for us. We do have a governor, Tal. I'm going to promote her. That's the only option I have anyways. Double bonuses, agencies. There we go. Uh, that's perfect. The rest, I uh, don't really care. We got uh, some gold. What about the policies, new policies? Units have 50% per less, uh, percent less combat strength reduction from being injured. Interesting, but uh, not really my thing right now. I really wanted to go probably for the uh, for Laventa eventually, but I don't know, boys. I feel like it would be cheap for me to do that. I don't want to go for the uh, Laventa just yet. I want to let it be its own thing. How much turns? Nine turns before the changing of the next era. I want to, obviously. So in three turns, we're going to grow, right? Three turns, uh, we're gonna have a new city. Well, we're gonna be able to get for go for another settler. So, I think that's I'm what I'm gonna go for. All right, urbanization and military engineering. Now, military engineering is very important, really important in this game because obviously it's with them you can get engineers, and they are the ones who build you roads, right? And roads are really going to make your units go fast into places. I'm going to go for the musketmen. And uh, I guess I'm going to go for the mass media right here. So we got that done. Uh, the workshop and everything. Now we're tw plus 23. Not that this matters because we actually can build some stuff like early on. Housing. 
we're not growing anymore because we're basically stuck, right? Civil population is stagnant, even though we have some housing and everything. Uh, so I'm thinking what we could do, or we definitely need to be, uh, work on that right here. So what gives us what really quick? We can have some spy networks. Yeah, we could have that, but why? Why would we do that? Maybe siphon some money? Uh, levering, cost half gold. City uh, units gain plus four counts uh, strength. No, I'm actually gonna get an intelligence army, just so we can have, I guess, like spy, uh, spice thing. I'm gonna go for, I guess. Hold on, I should probably go for the one of these, right? What do I need? I don't need housing right now. I don't need amenities. So I'm thinking I can go for lighthouse. There we go. I'm gonna go for a lighthouse, boys. I am also gonna go for well next turn. Next turn I'm gonna go for the um, the settler because we're gonna need to. Oh, hold on. We got something right here that we can build. It's like a, a statue of some sort, but it doesn't matter too much. All right. All right. Let's continue, boys. Next turn because my city is gonna grow at population four, uh, five. Uh, in two turns, I'm actually gonna go ahead. All right, we got that. There we go. Gunpowder and mass media done. Yeah, I'm gonna. We got a spy, boys. Well, shit. We got our first spy. We're gonna. We're gonna promote him to neutralize governors as if two levels more experience. Ah, uh, not really. Recruit partisans or siphon fawns. I'm actually gonna s do this one. Siphon the fawns. There we go. Be a more upgraded uh, useful on that way in that way now oh we are population five already okay well i'm gonna go for the um the settler then we need to go for a settler so that's what i'm gonna do uh the units normally what i do for the units is i'm just spawning them like that so i don't need to use money or i don't need to use like production or anything even though it takes only one turn doesn't matter to me I'm gonna I'm gonna send him right there because I don't want to waste the population of another city. So I'm thinking just send him a settler right here. There we go. So there we go, boys. We're gonna settle. Uh, we're gonna settle right here. This is gonna be our new city. Though it's telling us that it, there's no li like land that's actually fertile here. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna send him right there. I am gonna deal with uh, these units real quick. Because I, I do need to uh, deal with them. And uh, yeah. I guess we can. Uh, we're going to settle right here boys. Let's do it. Chitin Iza boys. None other than Chitin Iza itself. We're going to go ahead and get all these things right here too. Uh, monument. Not really. I could quickly purchase the monument. But I don't want to necessarily do it. It takes one turn to build stuff anyways. Uh, I am going to go for the ancient walls right away though because as you can see this could be uh, very dangerous we're right beside a barbarian uh, camp or stuff like that I'm going to go on this side okay there's nothing here architecture architecture would give us some more I guess wonders that we can build I'm going to get that I guess choose civic a good this one now we got to choose a new civic over here do we need more money right now? We're already producing like plus 32 mo uh, gold right here. Uh, I don't know, boys. Plus 32 gold shipyards could be really good. I don't know why it says plus 32 gold. What's costing us so much? Oh, minus 17 just for the units. So the units are costing out a lot, boys. All right. Well, let's go for shipyards just to... Upgrade, I guess, our production and our food. There we go. Production over here. I wouldn't need, a, I guess, an arbor right here as well. But uh, I think we need some actual oldies. We need an, old, uh, an oldie site. Yeah, we do need one. So I'm going to go for it. Get an oldie site done right here. We need a new governor for a new city. Uh, I don't know which one I want to get. Plus two envoys. Religious pressure. Uh, more science, more culture, all builders trained. No, this one, actually. I'm going to get this one for Chitin Iza. Uh, it's the one that gives us production and all this shit. So, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be the best option right here. We are going to need 
a military unit. Uh, I'm going to send my catapult right here. And also my my swordsman right here. I'm really going to need to send him. Actually, I, don't f I think I can upgrade my swordsman, right? Because now we can oh or is it this one oh yeah we can upgrade the crossbowmen so it's gonna we're gonna need money for that though we oh we have a promotion that we already okay then okay there we go so i'm gonna upgrade the swordsman and everything but only once i have money to do it right now i don't have any money so don't wanna i, I need to save it uh we can act, uh, now we got the walls we can bombard these barbarians with the walls and we can actually just do that there we go I could have just sent my sent my engineer right to deal with that, but doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me at all. I'm actually, oh, I can still send him and build the medieval walls. Actually, there we go. My scout is basically doing the military job right now, uh, sending the their builder right here. There we go. And uh, my catapult, uh, I'm gonna continue to send him right here. Same thing for my uh, swordsman, my spy. Where should we send him? Counter spy. I'm gonna just go into the city center and protect my city center, I guess, uh, from other spies. Not that it's really gonna do anything because there's not gonna be any spies, I doubt it, at this point in time. Uh, naturalist, I can go for that, I guess. Choose a production. We can go for a shrine. We could go for a shrine. Neighborhood will give us more housing, but I don't think I need housing right now. Uh, yeah, I want to go for all these buildings first before going for any of these wonders, really. So let's just me make me make sure that I do have this shrine. So yeah, I want to go for the shrine. And you over here, your production. What do we go for right here? I don't know, boys. Oxmall. Do we need no come on you're doing fine right now with the money you're actually doing really good with the money by itself it's probably because of the trader out and everything i'm thinking amenities are just fine as it is industrial zone maybe but right now we are good maybe an only site as well would be good encampment i don't know if i need an encampment to be honest i Think observatory, maybe. Let's just get a uh, holy site, I guess. Another holy site. And uh, this is a farm, so I can't get it there. Let's just build it right here. There's a farm, bo uh, a holy site right there. All these things I need to build. He's going to do the uh, medieval walls anyway, so we don't need to focus too much on that. Let's just uh, quickly purchase the granary right here. There we go. So at least there's that. Let's go for the sewers because it's going to give us more housing. And Aventa, more, uh, uh, more uh, I guess, envoys to you. Now, we got some new types of units, obviously, and all that. Let me see real quick. Uh, do we have policies that we can use that could be really good? Not really. Nothing interesting, really. So, just going to keep it as, it as it is. Six more turns for the next era. What I'm going to do here, uh, since I've got the thing, I can actually use this guy. There we go. We're founding our first religion, boys. So, choose our religion. What are we going to be here? I not. Uh, I don't really know what logo or any name to give. So, I'm just going to go for a regular one. Shrines and temples provide food equal. Uh, plus one amenities and six plus two. Let's uh, do that one. Plus uh, more amenities. And for each city following this religion, it's plus two gold. Let's do this one as well. Found the religion. That's good. That's all done. Good, good, good. So that's all uh, good in that. We don't have anything else going on. So I think we can just go ahead and skip now. Conservation and pike and shots, boys. We got. I'm gonna go ahead and continue my bombardments over them. I mean, they want to be on my w in my way right now. Let's just get these guys. Uh, builder, you're gonna build the Elsbendiri. And you, you're just going to try and go, uh, I guess, right here. I really want to upgrade my units eventually, right, into swordsmen and all that shit. Uh, I, I will do it, but uh, right now I don't, don't have the money to do it, so uh, we got to wait. So we can have bombards or we can choose to have renaissance walls. Just going to go for renaissance walls, to be honest. And uh, scorched earth, we're going to go for that. 
We can go for a temple. I guess to continue on our path right here. We, sh uh, we could do that. We can have missionaries now. Because obviously we got the thing, right? Yeah, I'm, I am going to spend uh, some faith to have a missionary. I'm going to go for the temple right here. Even more faith for turn, boys. And over here, same thing. I, I'm not sure. Are we good in amenities? Yeah, we're good. So we don't need a neighborhood. But uh, an aqueduct could really help, though. An aqueduct to prevent uh, stuff from happening. Well, we don't have a building place for that. Maybe I should just build, I guess, one of these uh, wonders. So, yeah, I think I should just build one of these wonders. Let's just uh, get the Statue of Liberty. Why don't we? Just get the Statue of Liberty done right here. It's going to be done in one turn. And... Um, all of these things, just the regular stuff. Uh, let me just go here. Built. Oh, there we go. The medieval walls. We're going to go for water mill. There we go. And send an envoy again. We, uh, every turn it looks like uh, we got a new envoy or something like that. So that's that's all done. We actually, uh, our builder is done with his building, uh, his construction. What is that? Honey. We got some honey. Oh, God. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we did. We could uh, build some stuff, right? Hold on. Policies. I want to see every time. I want to take a look at the policies. I'll improve aluminium and oil resources. Let me just uh, do that. Aluminium and oil resources for this one. Okay. So what I'm going to go for here, I do want to see really quick. Uh, not that. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay. So what can we chew? Where where can we produce? In terms of things we can produce a privateer but we don't really need ships right now i really don't need ships uh, aside from maybe uh seeing the world it's, uh, itself but don't matter it doesn't really matter to me what matters is the other units military units or anything at all that i can build uh we could have some coursers but i don't think i want any crossbowmen's obviously there are the other gray upgrades we could go for an actual trade uh, trader, yeah. But this is a trader that I already um, built up myself. So, like I said in the last video, I cannot go, uh, I cannot quickly build or like use the cheat to build a unit right away uh, for the same unit, right? I can only do it once, basically, for the same unit as it is, uh, as long as it's living, basically. So, we gotta quickly purchase the other one. For uh, as it is for the I guess the builder the the builder I can just get it right away the spy swordsman I already have one uh, I can basically get a knight maybe I don't think I need knights or anything pike and shot what is that it's anti cavalry I don't think I need anti cavalry either I think I'm good yeah I think I'm good to be honest boys. Maybe a privateer could be really good. Or a frigate. Which one is better? Privateers or frigates? I'd say frigates are just better. So frigates, we already uh, got it for free. So, yeah, okay. I think I'm good. I don't need to get anything aside from a builder, obviously. So, builder, you're just going to go ahead. I I'm going to get one of you. And I'm going to send you right here, I guess. Why not? Right? So... Builder, you're going to get that done. We got some honey. We're, we're producing some honey right now. We're also be producing some horses. I still have un over, I haven't uncovered any civilization. I don't know where they are. Oh, there you go. As soon as I say that. There we go. Grand Colombia, boys. Would you like to visit our nearby city? Simple our specialty. There we go. Our first civilization we've uncovered. Finally, he's pretty much uncovered us more than anything. Washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. We got the Statue of Liberty, boys. There we go. So our first wonder Almost. right there. Scorch Earth and the other thing that we were researching, I guess. We got all of these done, boys. There we go. Can I upgrade it? It needs 165 gold. Good lord. And this one, 200 gold. Alright, so we've uncovered another one just like that. Okay, so... Yes, I guess I'm going to just send him right here. He's going to take that. 
more gold boys just like that more gold i think we have enough for the crossbowman to upgrade the uh, uh my one of my archers into a crossbowman now and i think i'm good yeah i'm gonna continue to send my scout now okay so now that you're done with that you can actually go back here and do the husband uh, uh the animal husbandry right here you are just gonna go ahead and go over there to my two cities i guess and do your thing right we need to get the religion over the two cities choose a research uh we could get some uh, planes but i'm gonna focus on my armies first before my nave uh, my like my air units right so uh first off in this one we can get some renaissance air war uh era walls so we are going to do that we can work on the shrines here uh which uh i'm pretty much i want to go for the renaissance the the walls first same thing for you you're going to go for you're not building a lot actually you're not we need you to build some stuff uh, aerodrome could be really good though uh you know you know what you need to build some money though you need com uh, commercial ops so we're gonna give you that right now just so it's it gets done as quickly as possible you need, really need that there we go all of this and uh, you the catapult you're good as it is i'm gonna get an embassy over there i'm gonna make a deal let's see really quick make a deal open borders why not and also uh you got some ember you got some stuff okay just accept the deal i guess there we go we're just making some open borders to them i don't know oh they're right there that's where they are i knew they were going to be on the south i mean i don't care i'm not going to try to impose anything on the south for them yes your delegation is welcome they're sending me some money boys yeah i'm, go I'm not going to go focus on the south too much because i've got all, the entire north up the, for me so there we go mobilization and alchemy boys so that's good we got this right here so we're gonna send him right here get that done okay uh so you are gonna be there you don't need to build anything to be honest uh farms and everything you don't need to build any of these do we have uh, any new buildings or any new uh, stuff that we could probably build? Not really. So I'm thinking you could just... We could get a, a lumber mill right here, but uh, I'm not sure, boys, right now. I'm just not sure. What about you? 200. Wow. Holy shit, boys. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go for the uh, the main upgrade, I guess. I'm just going to spawn the upgrades. I think I'm going to be allowed. To, I should be allowed to do that. So catapult. Instead of having a catapult, I'm going to... I'm just going to... Right here. There we go. Right. And uh, he's going to be right here. He's, he actually had... Right. There we go. He had two of these. There, just like that. He already had two uh, upgrades. So there we go. And you, the swordsman, I, I can upgrade you right now. So I'm just going to do this right here. There we go for my skirmisher. I don't know what to do with you. So I'm guessing I'm just going to go ahead and go there. You are just continue your search for the other civilization. We could go for coal, some coal. But fill cannons is range. We're gonna go for uh, fill cannons. We can upgrade our archers. We have, still haven't upgraded them, right? So there's that. Neighborhoods. We could go for that. Where could we build? Can we build neighborhoods? Yeah, I guess we can. I guess we can, boys. It's uh, would be right here though. I don't know. I prefer to just get some wonders done over here. Would be much better in the long run. We could go for the cathedral. I still don't have any wonders uh, or any works of art. Let's see really quick. Not the timeline. Where is it? Uh, where's the works of art? We don't even have anything that we can build, I think. Civic tree, I don't know. Uh, governor, I'm just going to give you settlers training. The city do not consume any population. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to just, I guess, go for the Agla Sophia. Yeah, go for that because it's going to give us more faith. So let's just go for this one. This one. Now you do need to work on the shrine big time. You work on the shrine, buddy. 
And you, you work on the market. And I need so much stuff right now. God damn, so much stuff I can build. Let's just work on the market. Uh, get as much money out of this city as possible quickly. All right, boys, I went ahead and just decide to simply delete my two archer units right now. I've got walls and I feel like these walls are gonna be it fine is as it is. And important monument and an international intercultural treasure. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea. It should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. Here we go, the Agla Sophia boys. The infamous building it's from Istanbul. What happened. It has been so ballistic and ideology is done as well. There's that. They do have ships, a uh, galley over my uh, city, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know what they're doing right here. I hope they are not uh, playing anything uh, special, but we do have the religion of Iraq small now. That's good. Uh, yeah, I guess I can get you that right here. There we go. Lumber mill right here. And uh, I'm just going to send you right here. We need, we need 200 gold to upgrade you. That's the thing. Uh, we can upgrade you into musket men. So I am going to just delete you really quick. And I'm going to just simply get the musket men from this side right here. So a swordsman. Let me see where the musket man is. All right, found it, boys. Musketman right here where he was, right where he, uh, he was. I am not gonna uh, upgrade him or anything. I'm just gonna keep it at, uh, as that. And uh, this one, I am gonna actually just send my bombards into the city. All right. So if anyone mess, anyone wants to mess with us, they're gonna be in a hell of pain, boys. So I'm just gonna actually do like the An Vikings and go over here. Lofty column of flame allowed the people in Holt to read as perfectly at night as if it had been day there we go i don't know how to pronounce that boys so i'm not even gonna try we got that wonder uh natural wonder uh uncovered the rest of the things rifling we could go for ranger i guess an upgrade for my scout so yeah i'm gonna go for the ranger and the other things communism democracy or fascism which one is the next one I need? I, I want to be honest. Let's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one gi would give me the better choice right here. So, I am gonna go and see really quick uh, which one would be the best. So communism would give me all of this. I, I'm more using these than these to be honest. Uh, democracy for sure. Yeah, I feel like democracy would be the one. So. I'm gonna go for democracy, I guess. Let me see, civic, where is it? There we go, it's the democracy right here. Choose a production. Uh, don't want them neighborhoods, so I guess I'm gonna go for another one of these wonders, boys. What about the forbidden city? We could probably just go for something that's in the water. Right now, it doesn't cost anything if it's in the water, so. Apadana, we don't actually have anything for the water. So I guess I have to go for one of these. So they're telling me to go for that. Why? Because it's faith, I guess. I guess we could go for that. Because of the con uh, concentration, though. Plus three gold, uh, mer great merchant per turn. Nah, don't really care. More culture, great engineer, great works of uh, religious arts. Not really cl culture, Apadana. I don't know. Uh, I, I'll just go for the Mahabi temple, I guess. There we go. Right here, boys. And for you, you're just building on your stuff. You don't need the wonders. This is going to be my city of wonders, obviously. It's it's my my capital anyway, so it might as well be my city of wonders. Over here, you don't need too much. So I think uh, just work on the regular stuff. The temple, as always, all this uh, simple stuff. Uh, Renaissance walls. Uh, yeah, we could go for that, but uh, I want to quickly... What about the canal? Yeah, I think we are going to need maybe a canal to prevent some flooding and stuff, right? Connect two bodies of water. Yeah, I kind of need a canal, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send one right here. I need a canal because it's going to help out. It's going to prevent anything, uh, the city from flooding or anything, right? I need that 
to be prevented also the monument yes just so i don't need to focus on it i'm just going to quickly purchase it right here we are gaining a lot of gold per turn so that's good open borders with all cities as uh, all city states and plus four influence points per turn towards earning envoys i don't really need that plus one gold from each of your envoys at the city state from each city states you are scissoring of so plus two science faith and gold I'm just going to do plus one gold. Plus one gold would be really OP. So I'm just going to do this one. And what about the rest? Nothing too interesting. I don't think, yeah, nothing too interesting. So it's going to clean your boards. All right, there we go. We're now, we up, we went just like that because we got so many envoys over there. We went from 50, uh, 38 gold per turn to 50 gold per turn. Just like that, boys. So it's 50 gold per turn. That's a lot. That's really going to help us out grow a little bit. I can actually build some stuff quicker. Like quickly purchase and all that. It's going to be much better for all of us. Uh, so yeah. I think we're good. I'm going to stop the video right here boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Keep it easy.